Hi everyone, welcome back to Probiotic Series with me, Shikin. Now you're watching episode 6. In this episode, we will share with you on how to create the bioflock using probiotic. Stay tuned! Frequently asked question from the participant is how to get the bioflock, how to make our water to turn into brown colour and how to get the bacteria into the water. As you might already know, bioflock is the aggregate of microorganisms which include bacteria, fungi, microalgae, protozoa and rotifer and other some particulate matter such as unused feet and pieces. Some people might wonder how did all these microorganisms present inside the bioflock water. That is where the use of probiotic as inoculum is important in water preparation of bioflock system. In our farm, we use this biomed probiotic. It is in the liquid form. The application is very simple to make the bioflock. We just have to include correct dosage of the probiotic to the mixture of your CN20 feed and molasses. The bacteria from the probiotic will act as the inoculum or the introduction of bacteria into the water. Some people also use soil or water that is already rich in bioflock as their inoculum. For those who making their bioflock from clean water, probiotic is the good option. This is also to accelerate the formation of bioflock inside the water. But of course, you need to have correct CN ratio dosage to team up with the bioflock so that the formation will be matured earlier. A good probiotic for bioflock formation is when you can get the flock within one or two days before stocking so that you do not waste your energy and electricity to aerate the system before shrimp or fish stocking. This probiotic consists of Bacillus subtilis species, which is well known as an ideal bacteria for probiotic in fish and shrimp aquaculture. Selection of probiotic bacteria must help to improve animal immune system to eliminate pathogen, increase growth and weight gain by enhancing feed digestion and nutrient assimilation, Avoid water pollution inducing pond bioremediation and not induce health problems neither in animal and human. This bacterium is approved by the Food and Drug Administration FDA because it is non-toxic to human and animal. Although Bacillus subtilis proved to benefit the aquaculture industry, Suitable formulation and concentration must be applied to help the bacteria become successful as probiotic in aquaculture. Shelf life of this probiotic can be up to one year if stored properly and avoid contamination. This bacillus bacteria inside the probiotic is in the spore form and only activate after application. Bacillus subtilis spores can tolerate heat, dehydration, UV light, cold and solvent which make it stable for even more than a year. This is the Biomed probiotic we currently use which is packed in one liter bottle. It can be used to start the bioflow or as treatment application. You need to stick with the correct formulation dosage to get the good result because under concentration will not be effective while over concentration will not be friendly to the environment. We have reached at the end of this series. For those who are interested to get this probiotic, we only ship to certain international countries for now. Indonesia, Singapore, Australia and US. Message us on Facebook to get more info. For Malaysian, you can find the product from our Shopee account. If you have any further question, do leave your comment and we will do another Q&A regarding this series. Don't forget to give us like and subscribe for more aquaculture industry info. Thank you for watching.